Identities Project, which was launched back in 2018 and which focuses on cultural heritage and cultural identity. And Jenna will today be telling us about her own project, Ubicone, which uh, came to be during her residency in Savignano in Italy. Hi, Jenna. Hey, hi. Thank you so much for that nice introduction. <laughs> So could you tell us a, like a bit overall about your project? Well, as you explained, I was invited to be part of the project and the idea was to portray the community in uh, Savignano, so Rubicone. And um, they presented me with a, a, a list of people, people that they found to be the icons of the town, people that had played an important role throughout the years that had fulfilled like social engagement and it ranged from um, uh, the priest, the local priest of the big church to the doctor that um, the lady who accompanied me there said he was actually my do doctor when I was a kid. I, I always came here. And um, also uh, the representative of the Senegalese community and uh, the, the local imam or the religious uh, leader of the um, uh, Muslim community. And we try to, I, I, we try to come up with a kind of a group of people that could represent different parts of the identity of Savignano so Rubicone, and uh, two important women, uh, the daughter of one of the most famous, I mean, the mo I think the most famous musician that ever came from Savignano, Casadei, and um, the the wife of a um, sculptor called uh, Ilario, and I also went to visit his atelier that she now um, uh, yeah, is in charge of. And that, that was supposed to be kind of an image of the people that played an important role in the life of, of the community of, the, of Savignano. And I decided to do double portraits to try and literally merge them with their environment. Um, since, um, they took me to the places that they lived or for example the priest was photographed in his church in his parish um, I was thinking of how I could more clearly define somehow make them one with their environment or with objects or things in their elements in their surroundings that spoke about who they are and what they meant for the community So even the process behind <clears throat> your project is in itself is in itself very interesting as you've done like quite a bit of field work being guided through these people's homes and their workplaces. Um, what was it like to enter sort of their intimate space? Well, I didn't have a lot of preparation, right? So it's not like I met the people before. I was really taken to them. And then I think we had one hour or something to uh, shoot because there were so many people I had to visit in a short amount of time. Um, but I think most people were very welcoming and as I said, I, 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 I walked around in their environment with them or I let them guide me through their place, which sometimes it was a small place, sometimes it was a bigger place like the city hall with the mayor um, and then decided to go with him to the river because the river Rubicone um, played a really important role also in the history of the city and it dates way, way back. It has a really rich history. Uh, so, for example, for the mayor, that became the element that I then wanted to merge him with because it was meaningful to him, because it was his favorite place in the city and something he was really trying, a narrative he was really trying to carry out as a mayor during his time um, guiding the city. Um, but yeah, it was a very lovely experience mostly. And I, uh, I was let into people's life for a little moment. It was very yeah. special. What other uh, things did people sort of highlight for you? Did, did any of the items or objects or places surprise well, you? Well, like for example, I'll take the city hall as an example again. I really collected a lot of details that m at first might not look important or, or, but together like as a collage kind of puzzle an image of that place more than you could in one image. So that was my idea to have like an entire patchwork of little elements, details. It could be like, you know, cables that were intertwined in a big knot, or it could be um, uh, like, for example, with the religious leader, um, uh, he had a lot of like, um, oh, how do you call that in English? Like um, 
uh, awards that you get when you are really good at sports or something. Those like pretty golden, like they were just in everyone's environment. There's so many details that speak about part of their lives that you will never get to see in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm being attacked by this <laughs> oh, summertime. Mm. So during your time in Savignano, did you get a feeling of what these, like, it was quite a varied group of people you met. Did you get a feeling of what these people meant to their, to their local community? Well, the thing is, because I think they started from the idea of icons, a lot of the people were older people, right? It was not really representative for the young, um, uh, vibrant community that there might be in, in Savignano now. It were a lot of people that have meant a lot to, to the community in the past or have been meaning a lot to them for years and years. And from, from my opinion, I, I felt a big lack of women, mm -hmm. which obviously also reflects on the fact that it used to be men that played the biggest role. It used to be men that were doctors and priests and that fulfilled all these positions that were um, essential in, in a community. And it seems like Savignano still needs to, uh, you know, change or work for a more uh, diverse image or a more diverse group of people to be represented by. But that's why I was happy we could include the, rep include the representative of the Senegalese community, because I think he was a really vibrant force um, speaking for his people and, and being very well integrated and very engaged and very... I don't know, very beautiful person that was very close to, that everyone knew, right? It's a small mm -hmm. place. So it's very important that the people who are part and 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 that um, somehow play that role in the community, that, uh, yeah, that they're very connected also to the older generation of icons, let's say. Yeah. Um, and so I was very happy that we could include at least a few ladies that were also very important figures. Yes, and you mentioned you in, you ended up including two women to the project as well. Yeah, yeah. So, as I said, one was um, the daughter of a really famous musician, and she runs the museum, or like actually the home where she grew up in is now turned into a museum that is devoted to his work and his lifetime achievements. She's in charge of that, and uh, the other woman, uh, she's a teacher a very, very warm, loving person who lives in a beautiful house. And, and it was actually in the house that the atelier of the sculpture was. So she's living completely surrounded um, by all of his works, by all of his, everything he created. And he made very interesting and beautiful artwork. And, and it was beautiful to see and feel how much, what a, what a big role she also played throughout his career, right? How, yeah. Um, uh, I think she accommodated a lot of um, uh, his achievements by mm -hmm. the role she played in supporting him and, and being there and being also a very uh, supportive and, and enthusiastic life force behind his work. Yeah. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the project sort of started off with this idea of portraying icons or like I iconic people in the community. But do you feel like maybe during your process, the the, it switched a bit or like the the word icon changed its meaning well I had very little grip on it because it was a list that was presented to me so it's not that I went around in the city and also I didn't have that knowledge or I didn't have that those connections because it was my first time there so I couldn't have possibly uh, done it by myself to go around and feel or see who are the most important people to portray mm -hmm. but that also means that I didn't have a lot of grip on um, on the people that were presented to me or the people that were willing to to work with me. Yeah. So you sort of started off in the blind. Yeah. yeah. Like 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 often happens, I think, when you're doing <laughs> a project. Yeah. Yeah. So a, a central part of your project is these double exposure portraits, mm -hmm. which gets this almost like mystical or or per poetic feel to them uh, when you see them like that. Um, have you received any reactions from the people portrayed? Have they seen the portraits? I think so. I mean, because Jessica, our partner in the project, she said she showed people the images and that they were very enthusiastic, enthusiastic. But the mayor, he's following me on Instagram and I know it's his profile picture now. <laughs> he's excited. 
Um, and he and he also personally sent me a message um, saying how he felt and how he loved the work. But with and 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 the lady uh, of the, the 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 wife of the sculptor, she's I'm friends with her on Facebook, so she sent me some nice messages. But besides that, I also think most people are not. Um, uh, not all of them maybe are even very active in social media or online. No. So I, di I, I didn't, also since I haven't been able to go back, I haven't really seen the reactions, but from what I've heard, um, people are quite happy with the work. Well, that's really nice. And just to go back to this term icon for a bit, like, do you, what do you believe it means to be an icon? It's quite a difficult term. Well, I think it can lie in like also what happens behind the scenes. And that's why I have to keep thinking of um, uh, the lady behind the sculptor's work, right? Because I could feel in her presence that she was such an amazing person. And she was not the one who actually made the artwork and was known for it. But I could feel and that I could feel that she played a very important role in in being part of that right so often it's not only the people who are being put forward as icons who are like the face maybe of a community mm -hmm. but also all the people behind who contribute to making all of that possible and who support that and who carry on a leg legacy or who you know are a big part of someone's ideology simply by being with them living with them and having mm -hmm. their own strong mind that's really nice um thank you so much for taking your time to share this with, with us i think it was really interesting and a really like different um way into a community and and how it exists and um yeah if you want to find out more about the project um we're going to share the links for the for the website and the instagram and the par part of the project is also right now shown on Sona boulevard in Vestapol. Uh, that's where the project will launch before moving on to the other partner countries. Thank you so much.